This is the story of a girl and a series of clues, set on a weekend with absolutely nothing to do. Irene Lee was her name and boredom was her pickle. She solicited mystery, danger, adventure, given the fee of a nickel. But perhaps most of all, she sought a partner, a twin, a human-shaped friend to place her confidence and secrets in. Try as she did, no partners volunteered. The truth was, most thought her a bit weird. And while a small sting of loneliness within her stirred, she proceeded with her plans, unflummoxed, undeterred. Step right up for the best deal in town, we'll solve the unsolved and find the unfound. She was ready for spies and schemes and tricks of the trade, but she hadn't prepared for the greatest fiend, Lemonade. For all her pluck and her spirit entrepreneurial, there came forth no victims, no villains, no mystery material. The day grew longer and her spirits grew dimmer. Then, in a flash, a thought began to glimmer. This could be the most boring day in all of history. Could it be? It must be. The case of the missing mysteries. Her mission determined, she gathered her tools, ready to take no prisoners and suffer no fools. The mailman's route gave him a good lay of the land. Had he witnessed any mischief? Could he remember offhand? No, I haven't seen any mysteries. I don't believe you. The Tinker Twins were always kicking up trouble. Couldn't they burst this boredom bubble? No. Even Irene's grandma was among the suspects. Perhaps her snores created a fun-sucking vortex. Irene tiptoed through the halls and spied through the plants. Yet this drama stayed stuck. No solutions could advance. She reviewed the evidence. She didn't have much. What was the last mystery she'd been able to suss? Just yesterday, it seemed, there was so much to solve. In such a short time, the situation had evolved. The postman had found his missing mailbox keys. The troublesome twins were now eager to please. Even Grandma took a shorter nap today, keeping all fun-sucking vortexes calm and at bay. She laid out the facts and connected the dots, and suddenly, clarity struck through her thoughts. It was a conspiracy of the very first degree. She'd present her findings and the doubters would see. If X and Y together made Z, here at last, she'd unraveled the string theory. Satisfied, she turned to her audience for review. What she encountered instead cast her world all askew. Your imagination's gone wild. There's no culprit to apprehend. Why don't you just grow up and quit playing with tent? And suddenly, the floor beneath her seemed to drop. And all at once, her world seemed to... His name was Stuart Parker, just Parker for short. He'd newly taken up sleuthing, having failed all other sports. Irene saw then the explanation for her conspiracies. Another detective had entered her investigative territories. Was this town big enough for two private eyes? Or would they just bring about each other's demise? 
And so was formed the agency, Nickel and Dime. Five cents for lost items and pet-related crimes, 10 cents for disappearing acts and parental arrests, special rates for special cases available upon request. Thus, the case of the missing mysteries came to its end with Irene Lee, private investigator, and her new partner, a friend. Yes. Okay. 